You can complain on me with plenty of snow, mistletoe, present, reverend, you free out. I work on the end stage Alzheimer's unit at Cabo Hill, and on that unit, most of the residents can't speak. When I first met him, he was very isolated, and he used to always sit on the unit with his head like this. He didn't really talk to much people. One of the things that happens all too often when someone comes into a nursing home is they start to feel very disconnected from their lives, from who they've always been. Henry. Yeah. Henry. Yes, yeah, so. I found your music. And then when I introduce the music to him, this is his, his reaction every since. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> My name is Mrs. Jones, and uh, my age is I'm 91. And I want to tell you a little bit about my hard part. This hard part keeps me happy. It keeps me from crying. And when I'm upset, all I have to do is take out my music, and it soothes my nerves, and I go fast asleep. I love the iPod project because it brings the past lives of the residents into the present and makes a real possibility of connection much stronger than is often the case. If you can imagine somebody who hasn't recognized their loved one in five or six years, hasn't been able to recognize a face or recall a name of their spouse, and listens to a song that was their wedding song, and upon hearing that, looks at this person again and recognizes them almost as if it's for the first time in five years. That's, that's what's amazing, and that's what's possible. I had a social worker who described a situation where a woman wrote out her life story and gave it to him and said, I, you know, in case I lose my mind, I want somebody to know who I was. Because she felt like she was disappearing and there was nobody in that place who had any idea who she was. And she was losing herself and they were losing her. That is the feeling that people have. Music, on the other hand, can reach people who have, whose, whose dementia is already quite significantly uh, advanced and that has, still has the power to restore that sense of well-being and connection to people. It's an amazing thing. Yeah. I'm going to take the music for one second, okay? Just huh? to ask you a few questions. What does music do, do to you? Give me the feeling of love. No mass. Figure right now the world needs to come into music, singing. You got beautiful music here. Beautiful, oh, lovely. And uh, I feel the band of love, the dream. Not me. I can make a couple of songs up for anything. Yeah? Yes. I can make a song up for anything. It's just the Lord came to me, made me holy. I'm a holy man. So he gave me these sounds. I'll just say, I meet you. Let see. Rosalie, won't you love me? Rosalie, won't you be sweet and kind? Sweet killing, I love you and the dream of wine. A little do the dad. The benefit of the iPod project, from my perspective as an administrator, it requires the staff to really focus on an individual. And so for the staff in a big system to be able to focus entirely on one single individual and identify what the, their needs are musically and to be able to work out and present and produce something that's unique to that individual really to me goes to the heart of person-centered care. I have one resident that barely opened her eyes, she didn't respond. As much as I tried, I knew her for two years. No matter what I tried, massage wouldn't work, nothing worked. But when we got introduced to the iPods and the family told me the things that she liked, it was amazing once we put the iPod on her. She started shaking her feet. She started moving her, her head. Her son was just amazed. 
Okay, can we stop? Because now I'm getting no aura. <laughs> I'm seeing her all over again. With an average cost of about $80, um, this is less than most people's daily medication costs. It really is such a small amount that for us, uh, we could just hold any small fundraiser, we could bring that money in in one day. And the terms of what difference it makes for the quality of life for an individual who's able to receive this uh, is just immeasurable. So uh, for me, uh, I can't think of any greater value.